Hey guys, it's Kim here. Welcome back to my gaming channel. In today's video, I have the full quest guide for Chen Yu's Blessings of Sunken Jade. So to get this quest, all you have to do is teleport to the new waypoint that just opened up for the 4.4 update. So we are going to have some dialogue. So to move on, we need to use the Adaptal Energy to leave the domain. And this is kind of like using the three leaf sigils in Sumeru. So it's going to teleport you and then now we are in Chengyu Valley. And now we can open up the Statue of the Seven. I am still working on the 100% chess guide videos. Those should be up in just a couple of days. So now we are just opening up the new Statue of the Seven and we are going to continue on to the village. And once you have arrived at the marked location, the quest will officially start. So this is Chen Yu's Blessings of Sunken Jade, and this is the first part of the quest. So we're going to go to the tea making workshop. And then there is a teleport waypoint we can open. So for the sake of the quest to make it fast, I'm going to actually go and open up the teleport waypoints first. So it just saves time so I don't have to actually travel to the teleport waypoint and you guys don't have to watch it. So I recommend you guys go and do that first. So we are now going to leave the village. And now we are going to follow the golden carp. So this is kind of like a sealy. So use the golden carp leap to travel faster. You just have to point to where you want to go and then it just kind of shoots you out so it saves time. Alright, so let's just continue on following the golden carp. And you'll find some treasure hoarders. So first we need to defeat the hoarder. So once we have defeated them, we are going to solve this puzzle. So you're going to grab that flower rock in the middle, hold it, and then swim to the middle of the pond. So it just lights up all of those other rocks around you. And then that is going to spawn a chest. You get some dialogue and then you can open up the chest. And then after that, you are going to go to the wharf. So just teleport to that location that would be marked on the map. And then you'll get some more dialogue. And then that is going to end the first part of the quest. Now we have the next part, Floating Jade Treasure of Chen Yu. So to do this quest, we just have to teleport to the closest waypoint, which is this one right here. And now what we're going to do is head to the location that is marked on the map you don't actually need to use the cart by the way so we just have to go down and then see that location marked there are a pile of rocks down there and we just have to smash them yeah. once you've done that you just need to activate this platform and then it's going to move towards the waterfall and then it will reveal a cave inside so we're just going to go inside okay so we just have to explore the domain so what you want to do is go right to the very top and you will find a mural and then you'll just get some dialogue and then you just have to clean it so just use T and then that's going to clear that 
you will automatically get transported back to the wharf so we're just going to go straight to the tower you get some more dialogue and then now we are going to board the bamboo raft so just head down to the bottom So we are going to get dropped off right here and then we can unlock the next teleport waypoint and now we are going to just head up to the top and for this next part we are going to investigate the stone shrines so there are two of them the first one we are just going to head over here just by using these teleports just to make it faster and we are going to fight all of those treasure hoarders right there there are going to be a few rounds once you have defeated them you can go and investigate the shrine and then a chest will spawn All right, so the next one, we're just going to teleport to the waypoint and then we are just going to head right up the mountain. Okay, so for this next part, we need to activate these Jade Cauldrons. So to do that, we can use the Adeptal Energy, as you see just right here. And all it needs to do is just pass through the Cauldrons. So it passed through just one, but if you just stand here, it passes through both. Then you can go to the other side, pass through that one, or, well, actually, you can just stand behind the one at the back, and then it can pass through all of them. There we go. So now we are going to go to the shrine and then just investigate that and a chest will spawn. All right, so now teleport back to Jade Mouth and then we are going to go into the whirlpool that has spawned. Okay, so for this part of the quest, we need to collect the scattered adeptal energy. So there's four of them. The first one is just right here. So we want to investigate where the healing chills are. So I'm just going to fight them on first. And once they're gone, investigate. And then we just have to investigate all of the mechanisms that just appeared just then. So that's the second one, the third one. And then we are going to grab the Adeptal Energy. That's the first one done. And then this one here is just going to turn into one of those like water animals. And we don't actually have to fight them, but we just have to follow the green one. Alright, so once you have reached the end, we just have to fight the Beast Lord of Fuyu. And once you have defeated, a chest will spawn. And then there is the Adeptal Energy, so that is the second one done. So the next one, we can actually just teleport and go to the next location.
Okay, so this next part, we need to fight off all the enemies. And once you have, we can open up the door to the cage, free the Sealy, and then we're just going to follow the Sealy. So all of these Sealies are going to lower the water levels. So we can go right down to the bottom. And you can see there is another energy right there. But I'm just going to follow the Sealies first. A chest was spawned, so we're just going to collect that and then let's just quickly head back, grab the energy and let's continue on. So for this next part right here, it's best if you have a pyro archer. So we are going to hit the pillars to activate them. So just use the adaptor energy and then once the pillar is free, just shoot it with pyro and then the chest will go up so we can open that up and then also the last adeptal energy was just behind the chest which we just grabbed and that is all four of them done so i'm just going to teleport back to make it faster and we are going to go to the mark location okay so that part of the quest is done now we are going to do the next part which is an ancient sacrifice of sacred brocade so let's go to fog bank river For this next part of the quest, we want to get rid of the miasma, which is kind of like this poison thing. Now, what you want to do is go for the enemy that has the blue, or that's surrounded by blue. And we want to collect the adaptive energy. And we have to do this three times. Once you have done that, a chest will spawn, and then we can go into the cavern. And for this next part of the quest, we have to follow the golden carp. Halfway through, the cart will stop and we just have to fight off the enemies. And then the next part. So we need to prepare for the rain jade right. So what we want to do here is head over to the marked location, go up and then let's just step on this plate and then this platform will appear. Step on that and then you'll get a current. We can go up and then just use this to teleport and then transport yourself to this part right here. Now we can pick up this little owl statue and we want to bring him to this glowing green thing here so use e put him down 
and then now we are going to teleport so you just kind of want to look up use that teleport up and then you'll see a Sealy just over there so you want to head towards the Sealy and we are going to follow the Sealy to reveal the next spot so the Sealy won't move you just have to investigate this strange eel thing that's swimming around so I'm just going to follow the Sealy and you have to do this a few times because it's going to stop moving investigate and then we have to fight off the enemy going to reveal another owl so we can pick him up and then we're just going to move him to the location and then we just have to go back and talk to Fujin okay next part of the quest we're going to teleport to the valley and for this part here, we're just going to go straight up and once again we need to take care of the nearby Miasma. So we're going to fight that enemy right there, that meter chill. And once we are done, a chest will spawn so we can pick that up. So grab the chest and then let's head into the cave. Okay, so there's an owl, we can pick them up. And with these owls, if you just place them, they will give you information on how to get into the master study, which you actually can't do right now. It's locked behind another quest. But we're just going to grab him. And then let's just go right to the top. You'll find another platform you can put him on. And then he's just going to talk to you once again. But what you want to do is actually look to your left and you want to touch this plate right here. So once you do, you'll kind of get teleported and then you just have to go up to the mural. And then next spot we're going to teleport, it will be marked on your map. So okay, I'm going to show you guys how to get to the very top teleport waypoint. So what you want to do is just follow along. And then from here, you want to use the golden carp leap to go all the way to the very top. On the floating platform, you will find the teleport waypoint, so let's just unlock that. And then we can go to the marked spot on the map to continue with the quest. Okay, this next part of the quest, we need to collect the three spirit orbs. So for this one, 
let's just go all the way down. But before we do, let's just pick up this cascade. This is a jade cascade and you just want to move it around here so the water flows in this other spot. Okay, now let's go all the way down. And then what you want to do is turn around, you'll find the owl and place him on the platform right there. That's going to bring this platform up. Turn around and then let's just grab that fish and then place it just under that waterfall. And once you've done that, a chest will spawn. So we can grab that. Okay, so moving on to the next one, same idea, but I'm just going to go up here first. Let's just quickly grab this chest and then you want to look up. So grab the Jade Cascade and move it to the other side. There we go. So then now we want to go down and we need to fight off all of these enemies. And once we've done that, just grab that fish statue and then we can place it just under that waterfall over there and then a chest will spawn. Okay for the last one let's teleport to the waypoint and then you just want to glide over. Okay so for this one here you want to activate the jade cauldrons. So, you want to grab the Adeptal Energy on the other side. So grab that and then that's going to activate right there. And then we want to activate the other side as well. So just move it along. And then that's going to move up the platform. So the Jade Cascade will activate. And then this will unlock right here. We can just activate that. And then a chest will spawn. So that is all of them done. We can head back to the location. So let's teleport. And we can head right into the middle. And then we can just place all of the energies we just collected. You'll get a bunch of dialogue and you will get a luxurious chest out of it. Okay, so let's teleport to this waypoint right here. After the dialogue, we are going to climb the sacred mountain. And once again, you will find the golden carp, so let's just follow. Then you come across some miasma, so once again, just fight the enemies that have the blue on top of their heads. And then just collect the adaptor energy. And then we can continue on, pick up the chest. I'm just going to activate this so then we can just teleport and we are going to go all the way to the very top.
Okay, so now what we're going to do is just fight the enemies. And once we are done, just keep going all the way to the top. Alright, so these parts will have a lot of talking, but once you're done, we are just going to fight off all of the enemies, so there's going to be multiple rounds of this. And once you are finished, you will get teleported into a domain, so you just have to fight this. Once we are done, we are going to teleport back. So let's just teleport to the waypoint. And then we are just going to go to the mark location. And then this is going to end the quest. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful. I will have the chess videos coming out very soon in a few days time. So please be patient. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.